Hello friends, welcome back again in another video. In this one, we'll be adding a listener on the search input and update the recycler view on each keystroke accordingly. And when the input is cleared, we show the whole list again, just like this. So let's head to the gather activity. And at the top here, add a new variable, late init var, and name it search input for our text input edit text then inside the on create method at the bottom here initialize it with a find view by id r dot id dot search input then we'd like to update the recycle view on each keystroke to do this we'll apply and add text change listener on the search input we give it an object of type text watcher and this one here should implement three methods the first one is called to notify you that change is about to happen, its position in the input, its length, and also the length of the edited part. The second one is called to notify you that the text changed and tell you at which position it starts and how many characters changed. The third one is called to notify you that somewhere within the input text has been changed. So first of all, let's remove the to-dos here. And then inside the second one, we'll first extract the content of the query from the P0 here inside a query variable p 02 string. Then we'd be using a search database function to update the recycler view. Don't have it yet, so let's define it, create function inside the gather activity, keep the variable name string. And to be able to do this, actually, we need to define another function inside the audio record DAO. So here, remember, we initialize some functions to update, delete, insert, and get all contents. We need to add another one to perform a query like this. So copy and paste it here. But instead of selecting all the elements and returning this function, it will return search database method. It should also return the list of audio records, but it needs a query string. Now here, as I said, instead of selecting all the elements from the audio records database, we'll be filtering them based on the file name. So where file name is like the content of the query. Okay, now close this and return to the gather activity. And as we did here for the fetch all, we'll copy this. We'll paste it here. So what happens here is we first clear the records, then make a query and put the result inside the records and call the adapter to update the recycler view. And instead of calling get all, we'll call search database. We could give it the query just like this. If you do it like this, it won't work correctly because this is looking for all the elements for which the file name is exactly the same thing as query but we'd rather look for file names that contain our query. So let's add a percent sign before and after the query. And that's it for the query. To update the recycler view, we need to call this one here inside a run on UI thread because it is updating the recycler view, which is on the UI thread. Now let's see this at work, compile it and give it a moment. Okay, here, look for hello, we got our hello. If you remove this, we've got the whole list again. So let's try something different this time. We have 35 and 35. So look for 35. We got the two of them, point zero. We got this one only. So that's great. We got it. This was it for this video. The next one will be working on the on long click listener. So when we long click one element, we'll get the possibility to remove or rename our files. Thank you for watching and see you then.